Hey everyone, welcome to the show. I have another story to share with you about another MAGA man who lost what's left of his cult riddled mind and assaulted poll workers. Um, so I, I would say allegedly, but the whole thing was captured on video by a voter who was waiting in line at this early polling location. So here's the deal and I'm gonna play the video for you. Uh, but this is just the latest MAGA maniac. As you know, two others have already been arrested if you've been following the show. Um, this latest incident occurred on Wednesday. And at this point, as far as I know, I haven't seen him named yet. So we don't know who he is, uh, but he is under investigation for verbally and physically assaulting poll workers. As usual, this involved an entitled white male which is why he's a Trump supporter, of course. Um, I call him entitled because he obviously doesn't think that the laws and the rules apply to him because evidently, as with the, uh, the other MAGA man who punched a poll worker, this MAGA man walked into a polling place in South Carolina. He was wearing a hat that said, let's go Brandon. Now, as we all know, that means fuck Joe Biden. There, there's nobody out there who doesn't know this at this point. And as I mentioned with the other MAGA maniac in Texas, this state, South Carolina, prohibits voters from wearing that kind of hat at a polling location. Um, South Carolina law states that poll managers, quote, shall use every reasonable means to keep the area within 500 feet of any such entrance clear of political literature and displays. So essentially wearing, carrying, or displaying anything that mentions a candidate, a ballot measure, anything political, it's considered to be electioneering. It's prohibited in 21 different states throughout the United States. And it's so that people don't feel intimidated. It's so that people feel free to walk into the voting booth and do whatever they want to do. So the female and all black election workers, by the way, which is really key in this, especially in this very racist Southern state, um, these women informed this MAGA man that he needed to remove his hat. They said, you know, you can vote, but you got to take off the hat. Well, this entitled white male lost his shit because of course he did, you know, as we all know too, a Southern entitled white MAGA man isn't about to be told what to do by black women. So that definitely, I guarantee played a factor. So he throws a tantrum as MAGA men and women are prone to do. And that's where this video begins. So I'm gonna play it for you and then I'm going to explain it for anyone listening on the podcast, but I want people watching to pay attention after it seems like things settle down. After you watch him throw his hat, things kind of settle down or it seems like it does. I want you to pay close attention to him and his hands and his arms. And I'll explain why after, after you watch this and as I get into more details. So check this out. Wow. 
Wow. So, as you all saw and heard, this man starts cursing at these women. He calls one of them a fucking bitch. And then he is politely asked, one of the women very politely tells him, you know, you don't need to curse at us. I, I don't want you to curse at us. And then he goes on to yell that they should, quote, shut the hell up and let me vote. Yeah. Then, as you saw there, he takes off his hat, throws it out into the hallway at the feet of someone who's waiting to vote, the person who's filming, yells at another poll worker, quote, this is my motherfucking right. And then it, it's, oh, it's unclear from the camera angle, but you can tell that this MAGA man raises up his arm and it looks like he either strikes the woman that's standing next to him, which is the poll manager, by the way, or he does something to her hair, but it, look, it almost looks like he flicked her in the face or something. And she is the one, if you noticed in the video, who's saying, that's it. No, he, you know, the other women, sorry, I hit my mic, but the other women are like considering giving him a ballot and she is like, no, he's done. We're, we're not, we're done with this. We're not having this conversation. We're done. So it looks like he did something to her face or her hair. And then that's when she slapped at him with both hands. Then he goes after her. You know, he tries to bully her. He goes after her. And as you saw, several other women got between them. They're trying to hold him back. Two other female voters who were just there minding their own business, they try to get involved. They try to stop him. Um, one of them, I, I don't know if you guys caught it, but one of them lost her shoe in that melee. And it just, yeah, I started laughing because it reminded me of Eddie Murphy's comedy show. <laughs> If you guys remember, I, I think it was delirious. Oh, Lord, my shoe. <laughs> I'm falling down the stairs. Oh, Lord, my shoe. <laughs> I know my mind works in very mysterious ways. But anyway, I can laugh at this because honestly, this whole scene reminded me of my childhood. This, <laughs> this whole scene reminded me of my family home. So there you go. You got a good glimpse of what I what I dealt with. And yeah, he very much reminded me of my father. Um, but anyway, the poll manager who slapped at him um, and, you know, the, the MAGA man obviously went after her after doing something to her, but she was issued a courtesy summons for simple assault. Now, the election authorities dismissed the charge against her on Thursday morning most likely because there's video evidence showing that he initiated the altercation. Also, as you saw, there were numerous witnesses who watched him do whatever it was, you know, including that little lady to his left with the cane. So, you know, it, there were people sitting right there and saw the whole thing, you know, facing it, not from our angle, which was a little bit skewed and and you know we we couldn't see the full interaction but what's funny and so typical is that the maga cult they watch this same video and they're blaming the election workers they didn't bother first of all to research the state law or to read any articles first which wow i know shocker right oh maga doesn't do research wow um, and we know why. I mean, they're all saying the election manager should be arrested for assault. They're calling this to election interference. You know, no word from them about him cursing at them. No word from them about him putting his hands on her first. As usual, the whiny ass crybabies on the right refuse to hold their own responsible. Right. There, there will never, doesn't matter what they do, they're always somehow the victim in all of these situations. It's freaking pathetic. I mean, this is likely criminal behavior, but they're blaming these women. You know, this oversized 
spoiled brat comes in knowing that that hat, you have to know that that hat is going to cause problems, right? I mean, it's like any of us wearing a fuck Donald Trump hat or pin or shirt or whatever to a polling place. Do, you, do we really think that we're going to walk in there and nothing is going to happen? No one's going to say anything, whether it's allowed by law or not. It's stirring the pot. It is absolutely trying to own the libs and be a troublemaker and start some shit. And then when it happens, they play the victim. It is just so typical of MAGA. Like I said, whiny ass crybabies. They cause the trouble. And then when someone lashes back, when they get, you know, hit with the, the find out part, they're like, oh, what are you doing? I thought I was completely impugn. I thought that I could get away with murder. I thought because I'm an entitled white MAGA person that I can do whatever I want, just like Donald Trump. No, sorry. Doesn't work that way. Not anymore. So anyway, I will let you know when I find out more about this case. But uh, yeah, here we are. Not even election day yet. I already got three MAGA men arrested for their violent behavior at a polling location. Yeah, stay classy, MAGA. Stay classy. All right. I will let you know. Thank you all so much for watching and listening. Please like, please share and subscribe. Please donate if you can. Love you all. Take care. Talk with you soon.